I do hope you're doing well and you've been following along real good here. We are now on module five. We're going to talk about video. Talk about video. How do you use video to market your business? How do you market your small business on video? Well, here's what I'm going to tell you what I'm doing. And but I'll tell you how you can probably do it as well for yourself. If you like to be in front of a camera, if you don't mind seeing your smiling face or your frowning face, if you don't mind seeing your face on camera, it's a good way to let people hear your voice, hear your content, and actually see your face. And this is a fantastic way uh, to get some information out to people you want to have uh, to be able to see what you're, what you're up to. Now, if you choose not to have your face online, what you can do is put together a PowerPoint presentation and have the PowerPoint presentation and do slide by slide. And you can talk behind the talk behind that as a video format. OK, you have audio on the top of the slide presentation. You can make that make a video with that as well. So it's, a, it's another way to do it. But I like to get in front of people, let people know exactly who I am. I let them know a little bit more about me as a, as a person, as well as a business owner and a pastor. And so they have a chance to identify what I'm about. But here's how you can take advantage of video. Uh, when you have anything you want to do, such as what you're doing with audio or your blogging, you take a subject matter. And if you, if you hear something here real quickly, you'll hear this. You can reproduce if you've got a blog and audio and video. You can have multi-purposes for your information distribution. Hear that? You're distributing the same information on multiple platforms. So you take what you've written and you say it in five minutes on audio or 20 minutes on audio. Or you take what you've written and spoken and now put it on a video, different platforms, and you say the exact same thing. So your message is being very, very consistent to the people you want to hear it. Now, again, you're putting yourself on video and people having a chance to see and hear you and, the, and deliver the content that you want them to hear. The link is available to them. You can put it on a. You can put it on Facebook on a, on one of your profile pages. You can do that. Put it on other other platforms as well. You can put it in other groups as well. Those groups that are niche groups that you want to be participating in. You can put your video there. Again, we're not trying to sell anything. What we're doing at that point is we're actually just marketing. We're let, making people uh, aware of what we are about, what we offer, how we go about producing products, how our products are cared for, how our services are offered, why our customer services are done a certain way and how we set ourselves apart from other people. We're marketing, we're explaining why we exist and we're selling our vision, we're selling our mission, we're selling our, our purpose and people understanding that what's, what's, all, what's all about. But they hear your passion. People have a chance to hear your passion, see your passion and understand your commitment to your industry as well. When they see that you're committed to your industry, your family, your business, the associates that you have, your employees, uh, you can talk about all those different kinds of things. You can talk about how we pay our employees and why we pay our employees a certain way, why you won't feel pressure when you come to our business, why you won't feel pressure uh, when we send you email, why you won't feel pressure when you get a phone call from us, why you won't, why you'll feel comfortable when you walk in our store. Those are the things you talk about. And so as you're doing the video, again, that's another opportunity to put your face and your voice out there so people can actually hear you and see you at the same time. So video has some tremendous avenues of, of getting your, your message out there to people. Again, taking advantage of utilizing video as with the um, with the uh, PowerPoint presentation behind it or with the, doing, doing them together if you choose to. I could actually do that right now if I chose to, but I choose to just stick with this one one avenue right now because I'm not got a PowerPoint presentation prepared right away, right away, anyway, how, anyhow. But I do want to let you know that video can be used. So some of you are catching a hold of what I'm talking about right now because you see my passion for doing what I do. I come on and I promote my businesses that I talk about. I talk about the various components of our business. I talk about how we are able to take advantage of helping people save money. I talk, talk about how we're take, able to take advantage of it, how we get discounts and cash back and how we work with our employees and how we work with affiliates and how we work with the company and how we work with our, our payment processing system. And I talk about all those various kinds of things so that people have a, a better understanding of the whole business parameters. And so when they're feeling as though they want to make a decision to jump in and be involved with us, they know a little bit more about us than they knew before. So that makes it a whole lot different. So again, video is a, it's, it's not a dialogue. It's a monologue. I'm, I'm just doing all the talking right now. But people are having a chance again to see me and hear me identify with their hearts about what's really going on. You again, you want to market. You want to market your business, your small business. And you want to take advantage of utilizing it online because you've been doing the traditional market for a long time. And a lot of people are still there, but some of your competitors have moved onto the Internet and, and they're utilizing the Internet in a way that is, is working for them. But they're paying lots and lots of money to get it done. 
Well, you can start off not having to pay a lot of money to get started. And at some point, you may have to spend money. But at some point, when you get started, you don't have to spend a lot of money. All you have to do is know where to go and what to do and then do it. Because you can know what to do and not do it and you're not benefit. But if you go ahead and take advantage of what you, what you do well, go ahead and do that. And my suggestion, by the way, too, if, if video is not your thing, don't do video. Please don't do video. But do it. Oh, do audio. Audio is your, it's more, more, you feel more comfortable with audio. And if you feel more comfortable just writing, just do things with images and, and photographs and, and writing, that kind of thing. Because you can also write with any of these any of these components, by the way, you can do a lot of writing with it. You can write with, the, write with your images. You can write with your audio. You can write with your video. Here's what I mean by that. You can put it on a blog. You can put it on a, put your video on a blog and have written content right above the video or just below the video. Either way, you can do the same thing with audio. You can do, put your written content on a blog and have your audio there in the middle, and people can actually click on the audio, listen to it, and read the same path they chose to. Or you can just put all your information in writing format or with an image, and you can do that as well. So, guys, I'm telling you, audio, video, no matter what you choose to do, uh, do something that's going to be consistent. St I mean, listen. You're going to hear that, that word come out of my mouth a lot because staying consistent makes all the difference in the world. As soon as you drop out of the game, people will think that you're gone. They think you disappeared. But when they know that you're in the game and they know that you're going to be consistent in delivering content, and again, you're doing something that nobody else in your niche market is doing. Not, not, let's, let's say not many people in your niche market are probably doing because most people will start out really like gangbusters and all of a sudden just kind of, well, I got busy. I got tied up. I, this is a commitment. It didn't cost any money to get started, but it's really a commitment. And maybe perhaps like I'll give you an idea. Right now, I'm taking the time to give you this audio product right now, but I'm doing this all in one setting. I'm taking five to seven minutes or so. I'm even taking some time a little bit longer, but it's a, it's a short uh, spurt of information coming to you in a short amount of time that I'm doing. I'm able to put the audios together and the, the videos together, rather, is I put the videos together one by one, module by module. You're getting the content drip to you over time. And as you get it drip to you over time, you're getting more familiar with me. In the meantime, some, some of you, what you're doing, you're going to Google to find out more about me. Okay, You're going to Facebook to become my friend. You're going to Twitter to see if I'm really, do I really exist or not. You're going to Instagram to see if I've got photographs. Or you're going to Pinterest to see what I've got on Pinterest. You're trying to find out who's this guy, said Reynolds. You see, that's marketing. I'm marketing to you at the same time I'm teaching you how to market. It works. It's working, and you sit right in front of me, looking at it, going like, you know what, this guy's right, and all he's done is be consistent. My consistency started with the fact that you followed me on Facebook, you followed me on Twitter, you followed me somewhere, and you finally got a hold of me. Maybe you kind of found me for the first time, and then you begin to get these emails in the email, and the emails take you to YouTube, and all of a sudden you decide decide to subscribe, subscribe to email uh, to, to YouTube rather with me, and you actually opted into my list somewhere, and then you're on my list, and you get these emails consistently, and you see how it happened? All of a sudden, it got this thing going on. I'm going to talk to you about systems in a little bit. But uh, before we get there, we're going to talk about uh, Facebook fan pages and how you can utilize Facebook fan pages to do your marketing as well. So there you have it on video. A little bit longer than most other others because I'm pretty passionate about video. I love video. It's a great way to market your business. If that's, a, is that, if that's for you, is that, if that's for you, it really is. Hey, we'll see you around. And you, by the way, you don't have to be perfect. You see I'm stumbling around on my words sometimes, but I still get the passion out. I'm still able to communicate with folks. I'm still able to let people know what I'm doing. That's how we do it. So market with video, guys. It's how to market your small business. We'll see you around.